Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Cook. This is Chef Nabil, and I have a wonderful dessert for you today. I love it. I hope you will like it too, so stay tuned with us. So today we will have tiramisu for you. It's very easy recipe, Italian. Uh, I think tiramisu means lift me up and we're gonna lift you up. So uh, I'm gonna do it in a couple of different ways for you. I have the ladies fingers, which is a traditional for this dish or this dessert. And uh, I will do uh, my own version of this. So hopefully you will like it. Now, to start, we will need uh, to crack some eggs. Uh, this is the first time you see me wearing gloves because I will, uh, I will, uh, I have my own way to separate the the eggs. Okay, so. Uh, trying not to break the uh, the yellow because uh, you don't need you don't need the uh, eggshells in this believe me you don't okay uh, be careful with the eggshells okay and one more so four uh, I need to separate four eggs. Okay, I will start uh, with the uh, whipping up the whites, okay? And just take them one at a time, like so, and I separate them. That's the easiest, I don't like to putz with uh, going back and forth between two shells, just go like this, okay? Ah, you come back. I don't need you there. By the way, it's okay to have egg whites uh, with the yolks, but it is not okay to have uh, yolks with the whites. Okay, because then it will not uh, it will not whip. We need to make a sort of a meringue, I guess. Okay, I'm done with the gloves. Thank you very much. I hate these, and let me get rid of them. And we're gonna uh, put them in the uh, dough mixer. Um, it's better if you use some uh, tartar, uh, I guess they call it tartar salt or whatever, but uh, since we don't have, it's okay, we can do without. So we're gonna whip it first on uh, low speed. We want to uh, reach uh, firm peaks uh, with these whites, okay? And, uh, uh, but first we let it go on a slow speed to break up the, the, uh, the whites. It's very important that you start with eggs at room, uh, room temp. Okay, you don't want cold eggs in here. Uh, the yolks could be cold, that's not a problem, but the whites, you really need to be at room temperature. So, we will, uh, uh, we need it to get uh, frothy, and then we start adding one half cup of sugar. This is measured already, okay, um, but, you don't add it in the beginning, you add it after it becomes frothy, okay? We'll increase the uh, speed a little bit. This is done. And the first time I had this tiramisu was in Miami, Florida. 
and I just fell in love with it. Uh, that was the first time, and it was 1984. Man, that was a long time ago. Oh, man, oh. So, uh, so this recipe, I guess, is more than 40 years old. Uh, but when it came out, it was like uh, something big. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you could see this, uh, but I see here uh, frothy whites coming along. Okay, I will be increasing the speed. Uh, when it gets more frothy, I will add my sugars, okay? So we'll add it a little at a time. And I try to, to keep the sugars inside the bowl, that will be good. And we'll uh, increase the temperature more. That's good, okay? And I just, uh, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but you can see it's a, a frothy, but uh, in this machine it's hard to see. Um, we'll increase to the highest speed there is, okay? We will get our egg yolks ready for, because that will be right after this, we're gonna uh, whip them up, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with them. Uh, this is to make the sponge in a set of the lady fingers. Now there are three stages of uh, the egg whites when you whip them. Uh, there are soft peaks, there's medium peaks, and there's uh, firm or hard peaks. Okay, it's basically you could tell when you take the uh, the uh, whip, and you will see how uh, what it makes in there. Okay, so if it is like so, it is hard, and if it is still dangling down, that's soft peak. Okay, in this case we need it hard peaks. Uh, we are not there yet. Okay, it's. Um, I will help it to raise it a little bit up. You shouldn't do this, okay? Uh, I hope it's not making too much uh, distraction and noise to you guys. Uh, I'll move away from it. Let it go. Uh, whatever you do, never leave egg whites beating and go away to do something because you will be sad. Uh, you will have to do them over again if you overbeat them. Never be overbeat egg whites, okay? Just make sure of the, uh, the firmness that you want your eggs to be. We're almost there. Okay, I want to show you uh, where we stand with it. Okay, but I have to take it all out. So when you do this with the uh, batter, you see this is soft peaks. You see how it is going down? We need it uh, a little firmer. So uh, definitely need it firmer. So put it back in. By the way, it, doesn't, it takes only seconds to change from that to firm, okay? So you really don't want to be far away from it. Uh, I think we are almost there. So, uh, like I said, here, these lady fingers, somebody uh, uh, baked them for you and put them on a supermarket shelf so you can, you don't have to go through this. I'm just giving you the option of doing it this way so you can have your own version of it. Okay, now it's, uh, as you could see, it's staying there. 
that is the consistency we want. Okay. Now I need uh, to save this and whip up the uh, egg yolks with the sugar and then we'll uh, finish up our dish. Let me take it out of here and uh, put it in a bowl and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so stay tuned with me. All right, so I, I took my uh, meringue out. Okay, be careful. You, uh, you, know, you know, keep it cold. I'm, I'm gonna be fast, otherwise I'd keep it in the fridge. One thing I forgot to tell you, uh, in order to whip this, your, the bowl has to be clean and dry. Any imperfection in it, any extras, will not give you the desired result. And that's what most people have problems with. Now, we need the four egg yolks. And our sugar. This we can put together, it's not a problem. It's not like the egg whites. And I will also need a couple of tablespoons of water. Just to eyeball it. Okay, let's... We want it to be creamy, so we will uh, we will cream the sugar and the egg yolks together before we add our next ingredients. Okay. Um, this we can go fast. <coughs> It will turn color into pale, uh, pale yellow. Then we will add uh, flour, cornstarch, and some salt. Okay, and then we will fold with the uh, with the uh, egg whites. I find it hard to talk over this because I don't know how, uh, how noisy it is. Um, but it should take only a minute or so. It's almost there. Okay. I find uh, this way of doing it uh, will really improve the taste and the texture of the tiramisu. There's nothing wrong with using uh, lady fingers. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, most restaurants, they do it that way. And it's uh, certainly faster, okay? Because uh, you don't have to go through this. Now we have to go through uh, baking it and then cutting it. But I'm just giving you another option of how to do the tiramisu. Something in my eye here, which is good. Okay, this is almost coming. You see me lifting the bowl up a little bit because um, this is a big bowl for the size we are using for. Uh, you know, as I said before in previous show, this. Uh, this is a restaurant quality uh, grade uh, of a machine. It's not a home machine. But uh, I like using it. You know, I'm used to it. Uh, it has been with me for uh, five, six years. So I trust it. Uh, I like using it, so. All right. As you can see, it's now the pale color that we want, okay? So uh, the next thing we will do is to put um, flour, 
I have, I have measured here. It's half a cup. And I will need a cornstarch and salt. Some salt, just a pinch, not too much. I have measured the uh, cornstarch. I put it somewhere because I'm so efficient, I've lost it. I forgot where I put it. Can you believe that? Okay, let me look for it and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I have a quarter cup of uh, starch as well. Okay, we're gonna sift this. Okay. And, and we're going to incorporate the, the uh, egg whites in with it. Now you always add uh, the egg white to the egg yolks, okay? Not the other way around. Because we will take about a third of it and fold it in. The first one is not a problem, you can do it rather quickly. Okay, the other two thirds, you try to, to do it gently because you don't want to lose the air inside the egg, uh, egg whites. Okay, so one more. Now, there is a technique here, you take and fold. And you have to be a little gentle, but fast. Okay, like I said, you don't want to lose the air. So don't go with a whisk or something like that, trying to to incorporate them, incorporate them together. Otherwise, it will do a flop on you. Okay, last third. And we'll fold it rather quickly. And we are ready for the oven. Okay. Perfect. Just perfect. I could see it's fluffy. It's not, we still have the air inside there. Okay, so we'll put it in a oven tray. Um, I will uh, use a parchment paper, but I guess I don't have one. So I'll, I'll use uh, some, uh, some uh, butter with some flour on it so we can flip it, okay? Let me get those and I'll be right with you. Just one second, don't go too far. All right, so uh, I have some butter in here. I'm doing it the old fashioned way before uh, parchment. We'll just go on the tray uh, like so, okay? We don't want too much. All right, now we'll put some flour. We shake it. And we lose the axis, okay? And We'll put our mixture in here. By the way, um, in case you are sensitive to the smell of eggs, uncooked eggs, 
yes, uh, there is a smell, but it will disappear. So don't worry about that, okay? Wash my hands. Now we need to try to spread it as evenly as possible. Gently, okay? Very nice. So, don't beat this to the table. Okay, we don't want to lose the air of it. We want to make it sort of uh, even as much as possible. Just shake it like this, but don't beat it on the table. Okay, it's ready for the oven. We'll uh, pop it there and then we'll come and do the filling for the uh, tiramisu. So we, uh, I took uh, the uh, cake out, I, I guess you call it cake. Okay, let it uh, sit here to, to cool down and let's start with our filling. I have a half a kilo of uh, mascarpone cheese. I guess you could use uh, uh, cream cheese, but uh, mascarpone is a standard. I've never used the the, uh, the cream cheese for for this. Okay, uh, half a kilo. That's two cups. In case you work with cups. Okay. I have four egg yolks. They all go in. Tablespoon of vanilla, vanilla extract. That could be expensive, so you could use the essence. And I have a couple of, uh, a tablespoon of whipping cream. Okay, all goes in there. And I need a pinch of salt, just a pinch. A pinch is what you hold between your two fingers. That's it. Okay. And we're gonna need to whip this up. Always start on low speed and then work your way up. Okay. To, uh, low speed breaks up things and then go to higher speed. Okay, we don't need to whip it too, uh, too much, otherwise it will break down. Okay, we want it firm peaks. And it's done. That's it. Okay, see, it sticks there. So that's the consistency we want. And now, let's assemble our cake. All right. Have to wash up as usual. Uh, let me see. All right. So let's start with uh, this one, the lady fingers first, okay? So you go with uh, some of 
our mascarpone cheese on the bottom. Okay. It will get a little messy in here, but it's fun. Okay. We need uh, to soak these in very strong coffee. Uh, okay, three is too much. When they start becoming a bit soft, you just take them like so. Ah, see, they break. No problem. Nobody will see. This is in the bottom. But don't overdo it like I just did. All right, so just a couple of turns, twists and turns. Okay. Just keep the uh, like so. Maybe they could stay a little longer, but uh, we are uh, pressed for time, so I'm just uh, going a bit faster. Uh, I think I need more coffee. I'll make some for the next one. Okay. Now, we've done this, then we go and take more of the uh, mascarpone. In case you're wondering, my hands are sanitized, clean, after every uh, after every uh, thing I do, I keep washing, so I know where they've been. All right, uh, oops, clean it up a little bit, okay. I'm afraid I may not have enough to do the other one, but uh, we'll try, we'll try, no problem. I can always make some more, okay. It's actually better if you have a flat uh, container of some sort. Okay, uh, let me get uh, more coffee and and a flat container and let's finish it up. Okay, be right back. All right, so through the magic of TV, I happen to have coffee very quickly. Okay, so we'll finish it up. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now we will need to take as much of this as possible. Okay. Uh, we will actually need more uh, than I have. This uh, container is a bit bigger than what I anticipated. Uh, error of judgment. Okay. All right, so now we'll just go with the with the uh, cocoa powder on top. I like lots of cocoa powder. Okay, and you should really use a smaller one uh, than this. Okay, 
So this is, uh, this is it. It's a bit sloppy in the end, I know, but it will still taste great um, once it's cooled down. By the way, uh, just so you know, I don't usually put the cocoa powder until about three or four hours in the fridge uh, uh, to, uh, to let it sit and solidify, and then, and then I put the cocoa powder. This uh, way it does not get uh, wet and soggy. You do the same thing with this one, okay? Uh, just replace the lady's fingers with this, uh, put uh, coffee on it, uh, on it, and then build up. Okay, uh, we, we, uh, to uh, cut it, it really has to sit uh, three or four hours in the fridge before you can do so. But we will try to cut and see how it comes out. But that does not change the taste any, it just the looks, does not look very tidy. In any case, it's been a pleasure bringing it to you. Uh, this is Chef Nabil, until we meet again, I bid you peace. Good night.